As all of you know, I started my company five and a half years back, and today we run the largest hotel chain in India, the top ten hotel chains in China, and of course, continuing to make more impact worldwide. But that didn't start very easy. In my short experience, I learned one very important thing: life presents you with two opportunities or two options at all points of times, not four. Either a risk, or on the other hand, regret. I have learned always that whenever life presents you with either of these opportunities, taking a risk is always better than regretting not taking that risk many years from now. So, what I want to talk about today is why risking it is better than being regretful about it in the long term. The first story that I want to talk about is that going after what you really, really want to do. All of us are in our twenties. All of you are in your early twenties, which means that you have very limited liabilities in life. All you have is the ability to dream and go out and make an impact. So, next few years, you'd see some of your friends getting better CTCs. But if you really enjoy doing something else, it's okay to let that be and not be the top CTC candidate. You will see some of your friends taking world trips on your Facebook account, and then you would feel I am having to work 16 hours a day because of my passion. You would have a lot of these sacrificial feelings every week. Remember, in the long term, it will all be worth it. Right after my 11th grade, actually. I had the opportunity of being so ambitious about entrepreneurship. I used to read about entrepreneurs every day. There were two companies I was very inspired by. I was inspired by Royal Enfield, and I was inspired by Indigo Airlines. So I used to take weekend trains from Kota to Delhi to come and listen to those entrepreneurs. Most of the people around me said, "On weekends, life is so good, and you end up going every weekend to listen to entrepreneurs whom we don't even know about." Then I lived in a Barsati for a year in Delhi to build really, really small businesses. Most of them, you know, pretty insignificant. Those sacrifices were all worth it because I genuinely, genuinely wanted to make a difference around myself. If each one of us have an ambition, it's okay to sacrifice the usual excitements in life for the next few years to do what you want to do. Which means it is okay to take a risk. Versus being regretful of not doing what you wanted to do, and 30 years later being at a bar and telling your friends, "You see this friend of mine who's done so well in his life. I could have also been like him if I had taken a risk." You don't want to be regretful like that. You want to be the person on the photo who's being talked about. The second one is living a very happy and ambitious life. But with a lot of discipline. Right after I decided that I want to be an entrepreneur, I used to read online on TechCrunch, Economic Times, and so on about entrepreneurs. And I felt what an easy thing it would be. You just choose a good idea, and if you are intelligent enough, it should just become successful. I was up for a reality check. When you show up for meetings ten minutes late, people judge you. When you are not prepared before a conversation, people would judge you. And that would happen literally every hour of the day for 365 days, multiplied by the years. That is the struggle that we would all go through before we start something really, really successful. All this period requires you to put significant amount of discipline. The third one, this is something that is very dear to me personally. Surrounding yourself with incredible people. It is my job to bring in. Solid leaders and entrepreneurs in the company who can build the company one level ahead of me, so that Oyo outgrows one individual and becomes an institution with strong leaders. It is hard because you have to give away always, but at the same time you need to make sure that you bring people smarter than you, people who are going to challenge you, people who are going to be honest with you. I believe in all of your lives. You will always have options of surrounding yourself with people who can help you get better in life. They will be smarter than you, hence will challenge you to think better. Versus, you will have people who will take you behind in life. There will be people who will make you feel that you are the smartest person in the room. 
always choose to be with the former people around yourself because you're always the average of the 10 people around you. Your average will only improve if the people around you are smarter and brighter than you. Always strive to get better people around yourselves. That will ensure that you grow faster in life. The fourth one is something uh, slightly more interesting. Travel as much as you can. The travel will be worth it. I have learned whatever I have learned in my short life by means of traveling across the world. I was born and brought up in the Odisha Andhra Pradesh border in a place where 80% population is below poverty line. So for me, that was all the place that I knew about. The first time I came to Kota, I felt that the world was much broader. When I came to Delhi, the world became even larger. And then for three months, every day, I stayed in a new bed and breakfast, new hotel and so on, which got me thinking that this is so exciting. World over, every hotel chain is 100 rooms or larger. But worldwide, 95% of the hotels are 100 rooms or smaller. So I felt, why is nobody opening a hotel chain which is 100 rooms and smaller? Because there's so many of them. Then I felt there could be either of two reasons. One, this is an idea that so many people have tried and failed, and I'm probably the 1000th guy doing it. Or second, this is something that nobody is seen and probably I'm the first guy seeing it, so I should go do it immediately. As an entrepreneur, you are designed to be an optimist. You always see the positive in anything around you. So I saw the positive that at most I'm going to fail. And if I fail, it's okay. I'm still young and I have very little liabilities in life. After that, when I started the company and I had just one hotel, I had the opportunity to be a Thiel fellow. Peter Thiel started PayPal and he gives $100,000 to 20 people across the world. When I was there for the first time in California, I saw how big and ambitious people were. Here, I was always told by my father that if you are able to earn more salary than I am, you have done very well in your life. But then people were thinking about how do I make the lives of millions and billions of people across the world better? There were people thinking about innovation and how do you create new things that makes a difference in people's lives. All of these things that I learned inspired me to say, even if we are building the company here in Gurgaon, it doesn't mean that we can't dream to build the world's largest hotel chain. And that's what of course got us to open China last year. And we started the big ride from being India's largest hotel company to hopefully by 2022-23, the world's largest hotel company. But the point I'm trying to make is all of these learnings, the mistakes that you make, all of this comes because you see the world in a different view than just one city or one place. So whenever you get an opportunity to travel from the smallest villages in India to the biggest cities in the world, please take that hands down even if that means that you might miss an important meeting or so on. But the amount of learnings that travel brings is incredible. I will end it with just one thing. Always strive for excellence. Never be okay by being number two. And it doesn't mean number one in academics only. You can choose what direction or what segment you want to be number one in. But whatever you choose to be, please always try to strive for excellence. Personally for me, two years after building Oyo, a lot of people told me that, Ritesh, why don't you sell the company, take some money and have a happier life? And then I went back and I thought, when I'm 40 years old or 50 years old, what will make me happy? Will I be happy of building something where you land at any part of the world and you see an Oyo signage and point to that and say, I built this company? Or would I be happy if I was the person who made some money earlier in my life? The answer was straightforward. That is the strive for excellence that I request all of you to have because that will make sure that you're always proud of the risks you took versus being regretful of the things that you left on the table. All of us will get opportunities in our life. Never take two steps behind saying, I don't know whether I can do it, whether I cannot do it, whether I can deliver or not deliver. You should have the self-confidence and belief in yourself by means of which many years from now, be very proud that you risked it versus regretting it. 
which means that long term that that weekends those evenings you could have had a better time i'm not asking you to stop that you should have a great time but when you are working put in all the effort and discipline that you can behind it so you don't have to regret later that in my early years i could have worked harder and i could have been the best person in the field that i started working on each one of you will create your own stories in the future and will end up talking about it many years from now with that thank you so much for having me over and do well in your lives